Ahoy there, fellas. This is Frankie Day again on YouTube. Okay, fellas, uh, long, long waited and long, long out of sight for a while. I'm back in production again, folks. This is update bill report number seven for my Trumper 1 200 scale USS Arizona BB 39. Sunk December 7, 1941. 1167 men are entombed inside her hull. Okay, guys, I ticked up the last update. I went ahead and built the stack. Got the aft armor plating, which fits on top of the, uh, on top of, next to turret number, uh, three, right next to, to the boat, uh, boat nest, of which fits after the boat cranes. And we'll zoom in right there in a few minutes, folks. Sorry about this camera right here, folks. Trying the best I can out here. This thing is so darn big, it's kind of hard to, uh, maneuver with such a small space you know with a big ship so uh starting with the forecastle we'll zoom in a little more we'll see the forecastle detail that i've done there's all your chain plates right there which which the chains fit across the wildcat to the windlass to the chain locker after those three wildcats right there and you also you got your, your gypsy motors right there which actually acts as towing uh, actually acts as a paravane tows towers too actually where the pair of veins uh, are actually launch port and starboard to cut uh, the mines are out there in the water and those two little windlasses back there which are called pair vein winches I mean and that's what they use uh, the tow in the winches uh, the, the pair of veins after they uh, after they come back after they get them uh, use them for uh, pair vein patrol as we move the aft you got the whole main superstructure right there. There's the Ford uh, fire control station. Incidentally, folks, the superstructure is not glued down yet. Uh, three pieces that comes apart and three pieces without glue. And uh, that's done the purpose so I can be able to aid and also act, adding photo etch parts and painting. And we'll zoom in a little bit more here, folks. And uh, you can see the, the Ford fire control station. There's your signal bridge right there. There's your your control, which is called the con. As we go aft, we'll swivel around this way, folks. If the camera let me, and she does. There's a stack right there. That done. It's all airbrushed right there. There's exactly uh, 38 parts to that stack assembly right there. There's your 5 inch 25 open mounts, which the Arizona incorporated at the battleship of her era. era. Right here, folks, right there is the, is the armor plating that I've airbrushed. I'm going to put it on top of the, uh, the after deck right next to the uh, turret number 3. This is where your after captain's gig and also the exo's gig, which is your boat nest number 4, which fits aft right there. Uh, that plating right there, armor plating right there fits. That's actually, that's the armory right there, folks. That, uh, somehow, uh, that was a pretty good, smart idea. If that was incorporated uh, adjacent right next to turret number two, this ship would never would have been sunk at Pearl Harbor. She would, have, she would have proceeded torpedoing and heavy damage. But she would have blown apart from that magazine when that 767-kilogram uh, seven, bomb went down her... Uh, went down the deck all the way down to her magazine and, and set them off and causing her demise. So if, they, if, those, if these armors, armor plating was incorporated all the way to here, she would never would have, uh, she probably would have took the, took the bomb and never would have entered her, her magazines. There's shirt number three and shirt number four as we see it aft. Got the, I haven't got the boat crane on there yet. Or the seaplane crane. All those assemblies haven't uh, been added on the kit yet. So if I went back, did some touch-up painting, and done some, add some parts to it. Right over here, I got the cinderator here. It was right next to the stack. And uh, if I can find the cinderator, this camera right here, folks. You got to please excuse me here. Yeah, right about in here. That's where the cinderator is at. Right in here, folks. That's where they burn trash. As you see, folks, I haven't done this build for a long, long time. And uh, I'm back on it right now again. 
So I'm going to be working on it every night. I'll be posting videos every other day on it. And uh, Gary then want me to build this and get back on it again. So I said, Gary, I shall. And uh, Gary's out taking care of business tonight. And as soon as Mr. Gary Brinkler gets back, he'll say he'll get back on the tube and check out the big A right here. So as you can tell, folks, I've, uh, I've done some work on it since the uh, last video. When I get this all caught up, and uh, I got other ones I got to catch up on. I never realized I have so many unfinished projects. You know, this is this is what I'm talking about, fellas. This, this is what they call modeler syndrome. Except the only difference to my case is, is I go back and finish up before I start on something else. And uh, that's the way it's supposed to be done. That's the way to do it, fellas. So, like I say, if you don't, you have a bunch of these laying around, and they get busted, and eventually get thrown away, and you'll regret it for the rest of your life. And it turns out to be a waste of money. So we don't want our hobbies to become a waste of money, so we got to finish up my plate before we go elsewhere. Okay, guys, this is kind of like a fast update on this. Not a very good one here. Just to let you know that I'm living up to my promises. I promised Gary that I'm, I'm going to start working on Arizona, and I'm going to work on her, and I, I am working on her. So I got about five hours in her today, and uh, I kept her in a box right there, and she's all covered up inside of the box. Plenty good about this box, folks. When I take that superstructure off, I can lay it down in its own separate box without being disturbed, out of harm's way. And uh, best place to put it at, folks, when you're not, um, when you're away from the model bench for a while and you want it disturbed. So after this video, I'll take off that superstructure, stick it in the box where it won't get disturbed take the hull itself, stick it back in that big old long box what it came out of, which fits very nicely, and tuck it away for tomorrow, and uh, do some more ship's work on her, and I shall do some more work on Craig Huff's, uh, my third entry uh, for his biplane build, and get that shaking, get that going, and uh, see what else I can bring out. Anyway, folks, this is it right here for now. This is uh, this includes a uh, video uh, build report number seven for my USS Arizona, and uh, stay tuned for another update of this in a couple of days. And uh, tomorrow I shall have another update of my uh, Junkers 52, my card model, doing the paper model form. And I've got the undercarriage done on that, so I'll probably be making a video of that tomorrow. Keep you guys going, keeps me going too. Okay, fellas, this is Frankie Day signing off here on YouTube. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in and checking in. And, and uh, may God bless and happy modeling and make Mama happy. And we'll catch you boys on the next, next video. This is it for me. This is it for the Arizona. And we'll catch you, uh, both of us will catch you guys in a couple days on the Arizona. Bye, boys. You all take care, fellas. And God bless you guys. Bye, men. Take care, boys.